Are you sending sensitive information to your customers via email and want to keep it private? Or maybe you're just tired of Google tracking your every move. You're not alone. Data security and privacy concerns, regulatory compliance requirements, and the need for greater data ownership are just some of the reasons businesses want to switch from using Gmail. And in this video, I'll introduce three Gmail alternatives that will help you maintain better privacy, meet compliance regulations, and retain full control over your data. I'll also teach you how to export your contacts from Gmail and import them into each of the alternatives so you can quickly transition to a more secure and privacy-oriented email environment. Let's go. Hello and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. First up on my list is an ideal alternative for large businesses and individuals who prioritize privacy and data security above all, ProtonMail. With its end-to-end -end encryption, ProtonMail allows you to send emails with content only accessible to you and the recipient. This is made possible through the use of advanced encryption protocols, where the email is encrypted on your device before it even leaves, and only the recipient's device has the key to decrypt it. On top of that, thanks to zero access encryption, even ProtonMail itself can't read or scan the emails belonging to its users. Now, in terms of compliance and control, ProtonMail supports HIPAA compliance features, which means it meets the strict requirements set by the US government for protecting sensitive health information. Plus, to ensure that only authorized individuals can access sensitive data, ProtonMail offers strong privacy protections, such as secure data storage, rigorous access controls, and multi-factor authentication. However, it still may require other additions to fully meet certain corporate compliance needs. Lastly, when it comes to extensive collaboration tools like integrated calendars and docs, some businesses might notice a lack, as the platform puts most of its focus on privacy, rather than on developing a broader range of productivity functionalities. Still, in replacing Gmail, ProtonMail offers a solid, privacy-first solution. For my Gmail alternative number two, I picked Tutor, an end-to-end -end encrypted mailbox and calendar. Just like ProtonMail, Tutor encrypts emails so that even its own staff cannot access message content. And since it's based in Germany, the service is also subject to strict EU data protection laws. For businesses who want to maintain a professional email address, Tutor supports custom domains. However, it's worth noting that the service may require additional or specialized tools to address extensive corporate compliance needs and advanced business functionalities, given that it is primarily designed for secure email communication rather than as an all-in-one enterprise solution. So, who should go for Tutor? Well, that would be smaller businesses with customers from the EU who prioritize privacy-first email services and are prepared to supplement Tutor's core features with additional tools. As the third and final alternative, I'd like to mention a familiar name, Zoho. Known for its suite of business tools, CRM, collaboration tools, document management platform, and so on, Zoho also provides an email service with data center locations across different regions, thus helping with data residency requirements. And while its end-to-end -end encryption may be more limited compared to ProtonMail or Tutor, offering encryption only at rest and in transit, Zoho Mail has robust security and spam protection, along with strong admin controls, audit logs, and e-discovery features to help with compliance. To top it all off, Zoho Mail doesn't rely on ad-based revenue, meaning you can leave the worries of your emails being scanned for advertising in the past. So, if you're a small to large business looking for a Gmail alternative and an integrated suite of applications with decent privacy, Zoho could be a great pick. And that wraps up the alternatives I prepared for today's video. Now, it's time to show you how to import your Gmail contacts into each one. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button for more cool videos like this one. As the first step, you'll need to do some exporting. So, go to contacts.google.com and click the Export Contacts option in the top left. Then, select the contacts you want to export, as well as the export format, and initiate the process. 
The contacts should then be saved in a document on your computer, which you'll need for the next step. Step two is where you'll log into the email service of your choice and upload the contacts file. Let's start by seeing how that's done within ProtonMail. In your dashboard, find the contacts icon in the top right corner and click on it. This should open up a side window containing the import contacts button at the very bottom. Click the button, choose the file, and begin importing. ProtonMail will then ask you to pick the fields you want to import, so make your selection and proceed. Once this process is done, you should get a success message and your contact list should appear. When it comes to Tutor, the import process is equally as simple. In your dashboard, navigate to Contacts and click the three dot icon in the All Contacts tab. Then just upload your contacts in VCF format and wait for Tutor to finish importing them. If you go with Zoho Mail, to import the contacts, look for the Contacts icon, this time on the left-hand side of the dashboard. After that, click the Import option. This will open a new tab through which you can upload your contacts and then either import more or finalize the process. Before we wrap up though, I want to remind you that while ProtonMail, Tutor, and Zoho Mail can offer better privacy, stronger compliance features, and greater data control compared to Gmail, whether they will fully meet your specific needs will depend on factors like your regulatory requirements, encryption preferences, and feature priorities. So keep that in mind before deciding on any of the three alternatives. Of course, if you have any questions about what we've been through in this video, make sure to leave them in the comments section. And while you're there, check out the videos linked in the description, covering the best tools for all sorts of email tasks. See you in the next one.